In this video, we set up a really simple experience and level system in our Godot 4 ARPG. Let's have a look. Now you don't need any of these project files to actually follow along. This is going to be a really simple tutorial, but if you want them, well, you can grab the one uh, that would be our seed, what we start with, that would be money.zip. So that carries on from the last tutorial. But if you just want to grab the completed code, just to double check against your own, that would be the exp complete.zip. So feel free to grab those from my GitHub. The link is there on the page. This one out by having a mess around with our global scripts. If you've been following along with all the 20 odd tutorials we've done so far in this ARPG series, you're going to be fine uh, just going on with what you've already got. If you haven't and you're just joining us for this particular one, that is fine. If you haven't got any script set up as a global script, you can very easily just go to your, um, make sure you're on your script view, go file, new script, create a new script, call it global. And then if you go to your project and project settings, go to your auto load tab, and then you can select the script here, find your global one there, and then you're just gonna click open and then add, and that's gonna be added as a global script that you can then refer to in other scripts. So that's what we're doing. We're adding into our global script. So if you've been following along, like I said, you're just gonna add in to what we've already got here. So we're going to um, add in three things. We're gonna um, put in some information about our player's EXP, because we need to be able to track that. And we're gonna start off obviously with none. We also wanna be able to track our player level which as I'm sure you can imagine, we'll start at one, oops. And then we also wanna have a variable here where we're sorting out what our uh, thresholds are for our EXP. So at what point do we advance from level one to level two, that sort of thing. So what we're doing here is just setting up a good old fashioned doubling every level kind of scenario like so many games have done um, as an array there and that's it that's all we want to do in our global script so save that once you've made those three changes go to your inventory scene or any ui scene that you're happen happening to be using in your uh in your game we're just messing around with our inventory scene here we're going to keep building this one out so what we want to do is actually add another label so we're, we're adding in our player experience to our ui right so we want to add another label to what we've got so far so we're adding a label uh, we will call it our level so this one's going to show our levels um, and we want to attach a script directly to it um, so we're going to have a level.gd script as well. So we're just attaching that directly to our level label. Um, let's go over and um, get this one done right now, I think, because it's pretty straightforward. Uh, actually, level, yeah, that's fine. All right, so we're going to extend label. We want to create a new function that we're going to call update level. Oops, so, like so. And this is basically just going to set the text in our label to show what our level is. So level and then space, and then we want to add in the string showing our global dot player, oops, not exp, level. So from our global script that we just set up before, we can now um, get to any variable in there just with this dot. So that's why we wanted to set that one up as a global script. All right, we've got that function. Now we want to just call it. So when we first load our UI, we want to call that particular function and we also want to do it regularly to make sure that um, it's always correct. So there we go. That is our uh, label uh, script as well as adding that level label to the UI, but we want to maybe have a look at how that comes up now too, don't we? So we to be displayed over the top um, like that. So let's just move it down here, something like that. And we can have a look at this scene specifically to see how we've organized that. Level one like that, Durry's there like that. I think that's fine. Close that one up. And that is the level label added. Next, we might want to uh, add in a uh, exp bar, so a progress bar to show us how our um, exp is progressing towards the next level. So let's do exactly what we said. So let's add a new uh, node. It's going to be a progress bar. Let's call it 
exp. Now that is going to want a script just like we've done with the others. So let's go up and add a script to it. It can be called exp, that is fine. And this one is a bit lengthier. So I think what I might do is actually just copy and paste. Otherwise we're all gonna get bored whilst I make a hundred typos. All right, but let's talk. So what we've got here is in our ready function, we're gonna call our update exp bar in our physics process function we're going to do the same just like we did in our um, previous one with the level label we're doing the same thing here so we come down here and we actually work out our um, value of our exp bar and things like that we also want to check our level up are we going up a level we check that against that exp thresholds that we made earlier if we do we want to go up that level so we can set all of that up here in our exp bar we're going to track how much exp we got the percentage of it towards our next uh, goal basically and then um, sorting it out once it goes up so that is the code for our exp bar and we've added it there but let's tidy up the two of it because right now it's going to be a bit ugly all right um, if i put it there that would look best in terms of how it goes with our uh, inventory but we did put this one over the top so maybe if i oops maybe if i drag our level down a bit and then we can move our uh, exp up again something like that perhaps and we also want to turn off the percentage so click back on the exp bar come across to our inspector and just turn off the show percentage let's save that let's run that scene and see what it looks like that's all lined up nicely all right i am pretty happy with that all right so that is the exp bar bit done we're going to do is just a little tweak so depending on how you've got your enemies um, set up and how they take damage will determine where you put this in but uh, for those that are continuing on with this jump into your magpie script find the physics process function where we actually deal with the magpie taking damage and we're just going to tweak that a little bit so here we've got our health is uh, minus equal to 10 when we take damage as an enemy we're going to change that now to be influenced by our um, player's level. So global dot player level. So what we're doing here is we're saying um, when our enemy takes damage, it's going to be 10 times by whatever our global's player level is. So if they're level 1, it'll be 10. If they're level 2, it'll be 20, etc. That way, the attack power of the player goes up every time they go up a level. That is a nice, easy one to do. We're in our enemy script. This is how we're going to sort out making sure our enemy gives our player EXP. So when we have our little is dead equals true, we're just going to add in an extra line global dot player EXP plus equals and then whatever EXP you want them to get. So I'm going to put this as 500. So that way, whenever our player kills an enemy, the player is re rewarded with some EXP. So depending on how your script is set up, you should be able to find the appropriate place to put that in, generally in something like the die function of your enemy. A few cosmetic things before we go too far. So let's jump back into our inventory or our UI scene, grab that EXP bar. And what we wanna do is go down and find our visibility and our modulate and let's give that more of a green hue like so just like that perfect and then what i also want to do is give us a color rect that we can act as a bit of a background for our um for our ui elements right so i want to come down to our ordering and set our z index to negative one now let's go to our view of it and just get this set up the way we think it should be something like that let's maybe also give it a bit of a transparency like so now where are all our elements there's our level label where's our durries i think that should come down here as well so we got level durries that probably oops where's our durries there oh it's one of those situations try again durries all right something like that perhaps Let's uh, turn that back on. Let's have a look at it. Okay, Durries needs to go just a tiny bit back across. Of course, I'm going to click on that. Durries. Something like that. All right, save that. Now let's give this whole thing a playtest. 
play. Stupid start screen and intro music. That all looks good. We're getting attacked. Need to take some potions. All right, and that's going up. Let's go and find another one to have a crack at. Come here. There we go. We've gone up a level. Our EXP bar clears again. Let's hit another. Actually, let's grab some uh, some more forex. And, yep, and the amount it goes up has scaled as well. Perf. You Perf. should now have a player that gains XP from killing mobs and increases their level over time. And in our next video, we're going to set up our shopping to go along with the money we made in our last video. So Saint Nick is going to be able to sell us some, uh, some great gear. So I'll see you in that one. And the quote I would like to leave you with this week is from Epictetus, who said, if you wish to be a writer, write. I'll see you next time.